good? How you doing? Good. What up? But, uh, how's you feeling after uh, Miami and getting ready here for the uh, Panthers? Uh, yep, uh, feel, feeling good, healthy after Miami. Um, missing foul, you know, but uh, hopefully he getting better. But as a unit, we got guys that's out there feeling good. But um, excited to get better, you know, going against the Panthers this week. Highly competitive unit, division play. We all know how that go. And uh, so we're excited to, to um, get back to it. Yeah, uh, Fourier was quick to point out. You uh, led this in the session. How did you feel to get, the, get, get that, get your legs, legs wrapped up? Uh, yeah, it was good. You know, good good play. Nice nice pass rush move, you know what I'm saying? Beating them inside, set them up for an outside move, and it came at the right time. And uh, he just threw the ball up, and Fourier was there to make a great play, take it back, put an offensive position to score some points, and it was good. So hopefully, you know, we can continue to get, get into that quarterback and get him to the ground. You know, with a play like that, it's it's one that James was talking about. He was like, one of those great effects that he had on that play. It doesn't really show up in the stat book, but mm -hmm. it means so much to the overall point. I mean, from an individual perspective, like, how do you feel about that? Is it something that you take pride in that's like, you know what, forget the stats. Like, I've, I made that play out. Yeah, definitely, definitely want to take pride in your work. And um, at the end of the day, whether it's stats for account for or not, I know how I affect the game. And uh, that's what's important to me. Obviously, um, as a competitor, you want, um, like stats and stuff to go up, but I mean, for me, the biggest thing is watching that film. You know what I'm saying? Seeing how you affect the game, because it could be, you know, somebody. Could have, I mean, it could be stats all day, or not, you know, not that much effect on the game, or vice versa, or both. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, whatever's gonna happen, gonna take care of itself. But uh, I'm just trying to affect the game, affect the game the best way I can. You know, this team's kind of. It seems like this team's trending in the right direction. You know, having the start that you did, and then kind of coming back now on a pretty good slate of games for no pits and wins together. I mean, to kind of go into uh, the two week time where you face Carolina, you face the Saints, I mean, how important kind of has this three ish week run for you guys from, I guess, like a mentality confidence You know, it's been good just to get, get some wins going. Um, you know, whenever you go into division play, uh, you want to be at your top, you know what I'm saying? Um, even the games that we lost, we felt like we, were, we could have been competitive. We were competitive in. So I think we, we don't prepare to lose games, you know what I'm saying? So whether it happened now or then, whatever, it always feels good to win, you know what I'm saying? So you want to continue to build on it, give each week its respect and preparation that you can be ready for a game day and have success. So um, it's, but it's been good to feel, get on this roll, but at the end of the day, Yesterday's victories, you know what I'm saying, don't count, you know what I'm saying, for tomorrow. So we got to keep going, keep working day in and day out and try to continue to stack it up. Where y'all at as far as having a coordinator rush to affect the quarterback? You know, they, they had a six uh, sacks and ten years last week. Where y'all at with the coordinator rush to affect the quarterback? How's the whole trick coming to the quarterback? Yeah, you know, definitely want to work together, you know what I'm saying. But like I just said, you know, Last week, don't matter this week. You know what I'm saying? Whether they gave up six sacks, they pros too. You know what I'm saying? They're going to make the adjustments that they need to do. They're highly, highly competitive guys, and uh, they're not going to want to go out there and put a bad bad uh, performance up. We're not going to want to go out there and put a bad performance. So at the end of the day, we kind of developing our play and going into the game and uh, giving each team, each player, the respect they deserve and uh, letting the rest take care of itself. Now, just uh, generally, where do you see from that? Yeah, yeah, they play. They play multiple guys across the line, man. Um, highly competitive. You know, they like to run the ball, play with good, some t some good tempo, and um, also, you know, they put the quarterback in position to make some nice plays with his arm. And he's mobile as well, so we got to be disciplined in our rush lane. So, um, so highly competitive team with a lot of pride. They want to do well. Absolutely, absolutely. That's big. That's big for him and it's big for the team. You know what I'm saying? He'd be first to tell you. And, uh, you know, he was balling out. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, team effort, and uh, but a great individual effort by Dion. And I'm happy to see it, you know, um, personally and, you know, as a friend. So, um, definitely hoping that he continue continue to stack on that. And um, that's definitely a good feeling to get that player of the week. All right. Thanks, Grady. Cool, cool. Yep.